uh, we, we, t we tried to start vlogging like four times and yeah. we haven't. Um, but hey, we're at Palo for brunch. We've never done this. We've done the dinner, but never the brunch. And it's a true brunch where there's breakfast and lunch. And you kind of like, you kind of yeah. end up ordering both just yeah. based on the way they do it. So, um, I mean, yeah, so there was a menu. Usually brunch is just breakfast and we all know it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm fine and, with it. Yeah. But you kind of pick one uh, one thing from each section, give or take. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so we just ordered and then we we're just chilling Look at now. This bread basket. He said and served in Venetian style in a little gondola. <laughs> there's like gorgonzola focaccia, there's like brioche, brioche down with there. spinach and red uh, sun dried tomato. So All much good. Stuff. So Chiabatta. much good. And complimentary champagne. Very nice. Got our first round here. You got the, uh, the prosciutto cheese plate. Um, well, I was really just in it for the olives, thank you. Yeah, and, and then what did the, with the Parmesan cheese and then uh, oh, it was a, a long, a beautiful long Italian name. white name. <laughs> well, long Italian white cheese. We got cheese some name. prosciutto, some salami, yep. etc. And then I got the seafood version, so I got some uh, some tuna, some salmon, shrimp. I got uh, Jonah lobster claw, and then a mussel here as well. And then they gave us some different options here for dipping sauces. There's uh, an aioli, a uh, cocktail sauce, and then some olive oil. Okay, the first course was really good, by the way. If anyone was curious, oh, yeah. I don't think we talked about it at all. Loved every bit of it. But um, look at my zucchini frittata. I freaking yeah. love zucchini, and I love eggs. Where were you the other day that they said it's a crustless quiche? And it and was like, just an omelet. It's just a frittata. It wasn't here on the cruise. It was no, like no, no. This was like at home. But I'm like, there's no such thing as a crustless quiche. It's just well, a frittata. They made it happen, and it was not good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got my favorite breakfast food of all time, Eggs Benedict. That is the best Eggs Benedict I have ever had. I just tried it, too. It is... Um, I made a mistake. It was, it was so rosemary good. ham, right? Rosemary Something ham. Something like that, yeah. Um, and then everything else on top. Up until now, the best one I've ever had was actually in Traverse City. Do you remember the place? Um, um, was it called Benedict? This little yeah, sort of, I, yes, it was. It was. Uh, and it was this uh, this woman ran this business, and it was all. I'll have to find that. I'll put the link below. Um, and it was great. So if you're ever in Trevor City, that up to date has been the best eggs Benedict I've ever had. This one takes the cake though. Yeah, this one knocked it out of the water. Wow, this so, is so unbelievable. Good. And you can trust my opinion because this is coming from a connoisseur of eggs Benedict. <laughs> I've had eggs Benedict from Sir Milan Benedict himself. <laughs> All right, now it is time for the soup course. I got the heirloom tomato and basil, and then you got the celery, and uh, uh, yeah. it has you... fennel sausage in it, right? It has, like Italian sausage and focaccia crouton, and this is the best. So good. This is so good. Very, very good. Mine is also quite good. This is all the stuff of my Italian dreams. <laughs> It's got eggplant. sweet ricotta inside this. Mm. Yours has like risotto that's yeah. like thickened with mascarpone. I'm like, are you yep. kidding me? And this is the chicken. Mm. Looks fantastic. All right, it is time for dessert. He gave us a few options here. He said his favorite was the warm warm amaretto chocolate fondant and the buttermilk panna cotta pot. And I think we're gonna do one of each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at those strawberry poppin' pearls. Beautiful. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells that so good. So good. You have some coffee too. Yeah. Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I tried a bite of that. This is one of those death by chocolate things. It's just, it's so much. So dark, so, but it's so good. Yeah. Mine is quite, quite good. I, I can't believe how good mine is. Like I knew it was going to be I good, but this is so fantastic. Um, and I've been really enjoying these lighter dessert fairs. I got one, I got a lighter dessert last night as well. Um, and it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm in, I'm in the mood. So, if you were like actually planning a Disney cruise and you were like, okay, we just want to do one, because we wouldn't typically do two like fine dining experiences in one cruise. It's just that we hadn't tried the brunch here, so we wanted to anyway. And I had because of what, we, yeah, I was I like, because of what time it is. said it was really good. Yeah. If you were picking one, they're just very different, but from a cost saving perspective, this was a very like still nice fine dining experience but you get a ton of food and it's $45 a person. And champagne is included. And champagne's included if you want a glass of champagne. So, you know, it really, I Looking mean- Looking at Remy and Palo for $125 a person yeah. the I mean, it's, 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 it's so expensive either way you crack it, but it's so much cheaper than like a Palo dinner, or Remy dinner and Palo yeah. dinner, yeah. So just saying, if you were wanting to try it and get like these ridiculous views, did you show the views? I'll show you. I mean, wall to wall windows. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't suck. Sorry, you fall. Ariel is meeting here in front of the Walt Disney Theater, too. The line is super duper long. So cool, though. It's time for Jack Jack's incredible diaper dash. Oh, yeah. To start every race, we are all going to say 
race those babies on the count of three. to go into vanilla peas see if we can get something so special <laughs> we just watched ralph breaks the internet in the room the other day yeah side note really good oh, sequel, I love right it. yeah really I love good it. both movies are so good yeah basically just sitting here becalmed in the uh, Bahamian Sea. They said we're about 100 miles out of Miami at the time. <laughs> I'm jump falling over tables here. <laughs> but they said we're about 100 miles away from Miami. And so we're basically just sitting here stagnant. And uh, last night they were talking about how they were looking at storms and stuff like that. And basically they can move anywhere they want. So they're trying to find the best area that would avoid storms and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting on days like this when you're not trying, you know, in some places you, if you have a day at sea, you know, you're spending that entire day at sea getting someplace. But in this case, we have a bunch of times that they said they were just sort of uh, navigating a course to find the uh, the calmest waters and the uh, uh, no storms. You can see it's kind of cloudy today and overcast. So uh, I think that's just kind of neat. They just can kind of pick wherever they want to go and try and find the best waters and the best weather. And uh, you can see if we were, you know, over there. I don't know if you can see on here, there's rain over there. So we're trying to avoid that. So I think that's kind of neat. page for our oh not right in glitter oh man we made a <laughs> fan page for our number one crawler here elliot gg yours looks magical it kind of looks like the fireworks yesterday huh okay so we just got back from the craft in uh genevieve from <laughs> mom what's this i think you can color it with markers honey it's a pillowcase but you can color it isn't that cool so they gave her all of this it was hanging on her door because she was sad that one of the times she left the kids club, they uh, gave her a little tiny tattoo and they didn't have one this time because she, she asked for it. <laughs> and they were like, we'll deliver it to your room. And they delivered her like more tattoos, some like model magic, those are some tattoos. I'm like, dang. And it was in this little bag with her name. Are you opening this model magic? Yes, I will. I just feel like Disney a lot of times will go so above and beyond. I'm like, that is way above and beyond just the little, it's just crazy. So that was amazing. Can you tell them about the rose too? Well, I wasn't there. The uh, so because we went to Remy last night, they uh, uh, they must have known uh, our room tour knew that they were doing a room tour. <laughs> room tour. I'm losing my mind. That we. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because we we've, we've already recorded this once, and so we're just doing our lines again. <laughs> Because I wasn't recording, okay. But they must have known that we were going to Remy, and so when we got back, we had a rose, and then they had a uh, uh, a vase for us with a uh, with some water in it for the rose. That was so nice. It really is. 
ridiculously nice. Just a little bit too nice now. <laughs> it really is awesome. We're doing a little uh, 2000s music trivia here. So far, we're six questions in and we are killing it. We are confident in all six of our answers thus far. Artist and song. You have to have both. And we, so we have 12 correct answers so far. Oh man, we got 17 points. 17 out of a possible 20. Didn't win. So close. Dinner. We're doing animators palette tonight. I was trying to talk them through what animators palette used to look like Elliot. and used to be like. <laughs> Elliot's, yeah, Elliot's, Elliot's hitting me out of there. <laughs> they used to have Crush come out and like talk to each individual table. They still haven't gone back to that. So I don't know if they're gonna eventually go back to it or whatever, but um, our waiter did say this is his favorite menu of every, like the, the rotational dining, this is his favorite menu. All right, I got I got the pasta bolognese. What did you get? Um, pork chop, which is very unlikely, but... Very unlikely. Well, it had risotto, that was so yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Same exact thing. You got the same thing I did? Yeah. Have we gotten the same thing every single time? I think so. <laughs> Minus the aloe vera dessert, because yeah, you're a psycho. Yeah. We always say that Emily and I are the same person, and Ben and Jessica are yeah. the same person. Which is so. why we married each other. <laughs> ben, what did you get? I got the... I got two starters, um, and I got the tender one. I, I don't even know what my starters are now. <laughs> uh, did you get the tartare, tuna tartare? Uh, salmon tartare, wasn't it? Salmon tartare? Yeah. One of the tartares. Yeah. Were there multiple? No, it was salmon. There were so many. It was, there was, it was, a, tuna, it was a tuna steak. Tuna steak I got the tartare. You got the tartare. And then I got uh, black the truffle? black truffle. Yeah, I got that too. Yeah. Black truffle pasta. Something tartare. Salmon tartare. That's the other one. Uh, and I just tried the get? pasta. It is tomato tart. Right, something like that. Yeah, tomato Very tartar. good. Both the salmon tartare and the pasta are like offensively good. Very, very, very good. This lucky kid got cookies and cream, ice cream. Yum. And that, that lucky mom over there got an espresso martini. And I got the lemon icebox cake. And I love icebox cakes. And I love lemon based desserts. So, how can we go wrong? machine going. Just got Felicity to sleep. Um, I am gonna lay her down and try to finish packing up our bags. We have like an hour and a half before the cutoff for when we can put our luggage that we don't want to have to carry around in the morning outside of our stateroom and they'll pick it up and put it basically in the port. So then when we get off the ship, we just have to have the few bags we wanted to keep with us. Then we can pick that up once we're off the ship, which is just nice. I mean, it's not like required by any means, but it is nice. So it's kind of hard, especially with kids, to figure out like, what do we need between now and the morning? Like, you know what I mean? So trying to think through that, like toiletry wise, making sure we have pajamas and an outfit and maybe an extra outfit, you know? So that's kind of what I've been working through in my head. So I lay her down. Tyler and Gigi went to the show, which is called Believe. And I just saw on the TV here that they actually have the show when it starts I'll be able to watch it on the TV so I think that's pretty cool so I'm gonna have it on while I'm uh, finishing packing so it's like I'm watching it with it. 